since we have now been justified by his blood how much more shall we be saved by God's wrath through him we are not appointed to God's wrath contrary to many believers God's wrath cannot harm us because God's wrath was poured out at the body of Jesus more than 2,000 years ago. For if we were God's enemies, God has no enemies, right? We are our own enemies. We think God hates us, God is mad at us, and God is our enemy for only one reason, Paul declared, because of our evil behavior. But God, when He sent His Son, and we realized that it was His forgiveness. Yung biyaya niya, yung pagmamal niya, higit sa ating mga kasalanan. We were reconciled to Him through the death of His Son. How much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved through His life? I can sleep like a baby because I know, by God's grace, all my sins are forgiven because of the blood of Jesus. So, if you have this hard time forgiving yourself, we think it's humility, but it's the exact opposite. Humility means despite what you are experiencing or feeling, you submit to what the Word of God declares. Peter, I remember, contrary to his logic, when he said, All night long, Lord, hindi kami nakahuli ng isda, but because you said so, I will throw the nets. He obeyed. That is humility. Whatever we see is temporal. Whatever is unseen is eternal. We are used to live by sight, but God is teaching us to live by faith. By faith means we live by the promises of God, by the Word of God, by the principles that God laid before us through His Son. Jesus said, look at the lilies of the field and the birds of the air. Hindi sila napapabayaan. And Jesus said, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Its day has an trouble of its own. A 105-year-old woman was asked what is her secret to longevity of life. She said, I live one at a time. It's the same principle. You cannot predict what is ahead of you, but you can trust the God who holds what is ahead of you. If we will put it in a very witty way, it simply means do not problem your problem. Let your problem problem you because God will take care of your problem because you belong to Him, because you are His son, His daughter. The Bible says He gave His Son the greatest blessing. The greatest miracle is already inside your heart. It's not worth comparing to the challenges that you are facing today. Totoo nga naman, napaka-unpredictable ng panahon. The Bible says, now listen, you who say today or tomorrow we will go to this or that city, spend a year there, carry a business, and make money. Why? You do not even know what will happen tomorrow. Kayo po na nakaranas ng near-death experience. Kayo po na mga pag nagkasakit eh, parang kala nyo, katapusan nyo na. Yung magising ka na okay ka, walang sakit, hindi kayo tinatakbo sa ICU, that's more than a blessing. And here we are, ang dami nating pinuproblema. No? Nakalimutan natin every day is a gift. That's why it's called present. That's why every day we give thanks. The key to Christianity is not, oh, pag natupad na yung pangarap ko, doon ako magiging masaya. Oh, pag nakabili na ako ng kotse para hindi ako nakikipagsiksikan sa, sa mga sasakyan. Oh, pag nakabili na ako ng bahay para hindi na ako nangungupahan. No, no, that is not the key. The key is while waiting for those to be fulfilled, you are satisfied and happy because you are in Christ. And whenever the Lord sees you that you are satisfied at contento ka kung sino ka kay Kristo, He can move in your situation because your faith is not based on material things. It is based on who He is in your life. Paul says, I can do all things through Christ. The word I can do there, it doesn't mean you can do everything you want to do. It means I can remain happy, satisfied, contento, not because everything is okay, not because I have everything, but because I have Christ and that's fine. Whatever comes my way here on earth, these are little things compared to what I already have in my heart. So there is no such word as failure. There is no such word as being a loser. Every believer, their starting point is God declared a victory in Christ and that victory is inside our hearts the moment we believe the gospel. We don't fight for the victory so that we will be victorious. We fight from the victory. It means we enforce that victory in every situation. I am victorious no matter what I see. What is your life? You are a mist. Alam niyo yung mist? Yung hamog, yung bula sa umaga na kapag nag-init yung araw na 
di dismantle our lives are like that some of you na nasa 40s and 50s parang sa isip mo kailan ka lang 17 21 ngayon malapit ka na pa senior citizen ka na some of you who are in your 30s parang kailan ka lang naging 13 nag 18 nag 21 ngayon ang bilis ng panahon that's why the Bible says you are a mist, appears for a little while and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, if it is the Lord's will, we will leave and do this and that. James declares a very strong statement. As it is, you boast and brag. Alam mo bang lahat ng pagmamayabang, mali bang kay Kristo ay masama? Nagyayabang ka na meron kang magandang asawa? Nagyayabang ka dahil meron kang buong pamilya? Nagyayabang ka kasi meron kang maayos na pamumuhay, hindi yan dapat ipinagyayabang. Ang sabi ng Biblia, yan ay dapat pinagpapasalaman. All such boasting is evil. That's why the Bible says, give thanks in all circumstances. But whenever you understood grace, you understood that grace is not about entitlement. I don't deserve anything here. But by His mercy, He gave me everything. So what remains for me is not to complain. It's not to insert my rights, but to be grateful. That's why if my heart is grateful, even those things happening around me are not in agreement with what I expect. May mga bagay na hindi natin inaasahan na nangyayari. We can still give thanks. Because the greatest blessing is inside our hearts. So if you are feeling depressed and bored and you have a lot of insecurities today, will you please remind yourself that you are the most successful person here today not because you achieved something but because jesus achieved the greatest achievement of all times and he gave that to you the moment you believe the gospel